you're on a low carb or keto diet, if you ever just wanted to break down and just have a big bowl of noodles, well this recipe I'm going to show you how you can do exactly that with only 13 grams of carbs per serving. And that's actually a pretty big serving, so you might actually be able to have less carbs than that depending on how much you have. So let's go ahead, dive in, and take a look at how to make this delicious chili garlic noodles made with tofu slices. So the main ingredient here are these tofu slices, which is basically sheet tofu that's been pre-sliced up for you. For some reason, they don't cut all the way through the tofu. I don't really understand why. I think the next time I make this recipe, I'm just gonna buy the sheet tofu and slice it myself. But anyways, this sheet tofu has a great texture. It's kind of springy like noodles would be. And then when we treat it the way we're gonna treat it, which is we're gonna boil it in baking soda, it's really gonna have that texture of noodles, and it's gonna lose a lot of that sort of grassiness that you get from tofu. So it's really gonna have a nice, fairly neutral flavor, just like a regular noodle. This recipe is vegetarian, but I think this would also be great with ground meat too. But for the vegetarian version, I'm using carrots, mushrooms, scallions, ginger, garlic, the tofu sheets, a bit of Korean chili pepper, and some baking soda, and of course the tofu slices and also a couple tablespoons of this vegetarian oyster sauce. So to get started, we're gonna bring six quarts of water to boil. So we're just gonna get that started while we prep the rest of our ingredients. First thing we're gonna do is prep our ginger. I find that these cheap dollar store spoons work perfect for skinning the ginger. And then we're just gonna dice that up and mince it up finely. And just place that in a bowl and set it aside. Next, we're just gonna mince up some garlic. And I just love using this garlic press because I can just put the whole garlic clove in there, skin on and everything, press it through, scrape out the mincings, and then pull out the skin later. It's just super convenient. So just go ahead and mince up all your garlic, set that aside with the ginger, and now we're gonna take our scallions and just chop off the rough ends of the scallions, throw those away, and then just finely slice up the green onions, scallions, whatever you wanna call them. And we're gonna take the white part of the green onions and we're gonna put that in with the garlic and ginger. And the green parts we're gonna have separate and we're gonna put that in sort of near the end of cooking the dish. Next up, I've got three shiitake mushrooms here. I'm just gonna slice off the ends of those shiitake mushrooms and then roughly chop them. And I'm gonna put them into a food processor along with the carrot. And the carrot and the shiitake mushrooms are kind of substituting in for what I otherwise might use ground meat for. I'm going to use the attachment for my hand blender to blend this up with or to chop this up with. Um, it's a little food processor attachment. I do have a real food processor, but they're just such a pain in the neck to take out. Unfortunately, this one is terrible and it really doesn't work that well. So if you have any suggestions for good hand mixer food processors, please let me know down in the comments below. As you can see, I've got giant chunks of carrots in there. The bowl is really small. It just doesn't really work very well, but it does get the job done good enough for this at least. And then we're just going to put the carrot and the mushroom aside, and now we can go ahead and prep our tofu slices. I picked these up from my local Chinese store. There's a ton of different options, tofu sheets and tofu slices like this. This one here, I just chopped off the part that was already sliced and then just sliced the part that wasn't sliced yet. Our water should be boiling now, so we're just going to toss in the baking soda, and then toss in the tofu slices, mix it all up a little bit, bring it back up to a boiling, and boil for about four minutes, and then go ahead and strain it, and then we just wanna rinse it off in the sink just to get rid of any of that baking soda flavor. Next, over medium-high heat, we're gonna heat up our wok, and I just got this wok recently. It's a light cast iron wok, and the seasoning on it is crazy good. It's almost like a nonstick finish, so I might be doing a review of that soon. But go ahead, toss in your ginger, garlic, and the white part of the green onions or scallions. Fry that all up, and fry that for about a minute or so, and then we're just gonna go ahead and toss in our carrots and mushrooms. I'm not gonna use it all the carrots, I'm kind of a big carrot there. And then just fry that up for another minute or so. Next, we're gonna add in our Korean chili pepper, and just fry that up for another minute or so. And if you're worried about it being spicy, the Korean chili powder really is not that spicy at all. It's almost a little bit sweet. Then add in the tofu, and we're just gonna stir that all up to combine and sort of fry it all up. I'm gonna add in the scallions, and then we're gonna add in about two tablespoons of that oyster sauce. Mix that all up so everything's coating all of the noodles, and cook that 
until it's all heated up for about another one to two minutes. And that's really it. The only thing we gotta do now is just pull it out of the wok, put it into a bowl, and start eating it. Hey, not bad.